Hey y'all, Paul Wooten here. Back again. Um, you also can hear Miss Sasha. There's like, give me a drink. You can see neither one of us in a in a in a little bit. Um, did that one update video, but here this is gonna be a little uh, a rope video, a little purchase. Uh, I'm just kind of telling you what's going on. There's Miss Sash. She says hi. She misses y'all. <laughs> and for you new subscribers and new viewers, this is kind of a normal thing that I do. Um, if you watch any of my older videos, uh, Miss Sash likes to uh, invite herself into my um, channel here. So uh, anyway, kind of back to getting in the groove. Got a little uh, rope box from my buddy uh, Kevin Ramsey out of Texas. Um, sent me a little rope box. And um, the new Star Trek uh, series came out. And he grabbed me the um, the new Baja Breaker. Artwork's pretty cool. But uh, we don't need no stick in the packaging. So... Metal body, metal base, red line, rear rider tires. That's pretty cool. Love those wheels. Another one, Star Trek. Got the uh, Chevelle wagon. And uh, I'm not crazy about the big old heads on the. Um, on the sides, but hey, whatever. He threw this other one in there because he knows I like wagons, so it's this Cocoa Puff one. It's 57 Buick. I like it a ton, also. It's a really cool casting, one of the few castings that the hood still opens up on. And this ain't focusing 100% good, but hey, well, you know what I'm saying? Quality, um, Quality, another quality production here. I um, was going to show you a few things that uh, I bought off eBay. Um, been a NASCAR fan for a long time, and I picked these two pieces up at a at a uh, pretty cheap. I'm a huge fan of uh, Yingling um, beer, and uh, for two years Yingling sponsored a uh, race car, and I still got about three three or four more to pick up but this is a 124 scale uh, yingling lager the uh, trunk opens up on these things it's got roof flaps that open up on the top for those that don't know it's when the car gets backwards those flaps come up and keeps the truck I mean the car from getting airborne but uh Yep, Yingling car. I'm also I'm not a real fan of the driver, just a sponsor, and I do that quite a bit on some of my diecast. I buy certain cars because I like the sponsors or the beer, or Coke Cola or military. I got a lot of military cars that I like to collect just because of what's on them. Um, this driver here I've followed for years. He's his name is Greg Biffle. And this is a Cheez-It. This is from last year. I hadn't bought one of his pieces in probably about five years. Um, just, just haven't had the money to do it. Plus, it's just it's just crazy how much they change sponsors. You know, back in the day, they used to do, you know, two, maybe three paint jobs a year. Now it's five and six paint jobs a year. So now we're going to do a little bit of a haul video I did two weeks ago from this video may get long y'all I haven't did one in a while so I need to make it up to you guys. Sorry for all my fans that's been missing me sending me texts on things saying hey where you at but um, I, this haul was two Saturdays ago I went to a, a camp I mean, not Kmart. Kmart was his last weekend. I didn't even go to that. But uh, this was up in in a little town about 30 minutes away and uh, I still got to show you the other part of this lot that I bought 
I think I bought like almost 200 cars for like NASCAR, Hot Wheels, Giant of Lightning for like 50 bucks. I bought like almost 12, might be 150 cars or something like that. But anyway, we don't need to know about that. Um, I'm hoping Giant and Lightning uh, has got access to some of these castings. Here's uh, B of Goodrich. This is the old uh, card. Pretty sweet little panel. This trash can out here. Got this uh, wagon here. Trying to do a little focus in there. But crack that baby open also. There you go. Yeah, I got to, I got to focus it on the car now. This is a Mr. Gasket panel. It opens up on it. This falls into my long roof uh, category. Um, big top wagons, vans, panels. There's one Hoosier. Pretty sweet. Yeah. This is what I really wish they'd come back out with. The old Woody um, wagons, seventies, pretty sweet. Yeah, got one of these, pretty cool. Got dairy, got another dairy. I got another one. Um, police car, oddball brand police car. Another dairy. Another um, matchbox police car. Got a glittery black wall stalker. I can't remember if this is the Buick or the Monte Carlo. I can't remember. Didn't say on the bottom. Um, got an ultra hot Ferrari. Another dairy. Another F-150 pickup truck. Black wall. Whoop. Transit van, Ford Transit, the old Ford Transit. It's not the proper name, but I, at the moment I don't remember what it was. A couple more dairies. Uh Mini pickup. We got 300 ZX Nissan Ultra Hots. Got an old Beater 67 Camaro. I had to have it just for the heck of it. Another Maisto police car. Got a Camaro police car. I have a huge police car. Um, I never talk about it, um, but I do. I, I love police cars. Here's a, a Maisto, a Maisto Jeep. It's almost got like Hot Wheel wheels on it. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? This is a Maserati Matchbox, kind of beater. Got an old small matchbox Lindsay. Trunk's missing. It's a Lincoln Continental. 
This was in another little box I picked up. Need some wheels on it. Looks like somebody did a little customizing on it. This is another little little tootsies. Another little tootsie. So me customized it with green paint. Uh, it's another little tootsie. Somebody painted gold and black. I don't know what the original color looks like. It had some kind of blue color underneath of it. Pretty cool in a way. Well, another little tootsie. Another little must Mustang. It's seen better days. An old little Jeep. I don't know what brand it is. It's it has a name on it. I can't read it. But cool little Jeep. There's a matchbox. Um what? Fair Lady Z. No beater, no doors open up on it. Toyota Celica. Another old beater. It's a matchbox super fast. And then the top this stuff off here. I found some old um this one here is a made in England. It's a, it's a, it must be a matchbox. It says West West. Like I don't know. It's a wagon. <laughs> it's a wagon. They do little plastic. I guess they're for train sets, wagons. Pick them up. Usually don't pay that as much as I did for these things. The guy wanted a buck a piece for them, so I grabbed them. I said, I've never seen these plastic. Get, get used to it. This is what Hot Wheels will be for too long. It'll be all plastic, plastic base, plastic body, plastic axle, plastic tires, all plastic. That's what we're gonna see in the near future. But um, well, yeah, that's a little bit of a haul there. Oh, here's another one I pick up. A little car I picked up. A little Ertl Gatorade 88. At the time, this could be Rusty Wallace or Daryl Walter. And that's about it. Um. Let me get focused back here talk to you for just a few more minutes here all right uh progress at my buddy's shop is going pretty good um we've been in there for about a month and a half moving stuff around we've sold quite a bit um i got tons of hot wheels that i need to sell um appreciate everybody that's purchased from me over the last month or so um, I'm not even going to name names because I don't want to forget everybody. Anybody that's bought from me, I'll do a video on that. And um, But I do want to um, do another shout out to a couple buddies that uh, just started in the hobby. One of them's rebuilding their collection. One's real new to it. Um, HW Central. Uh, go check him out. His channel's pretty new. He's uh, doing a really good job. This production is probably even better than what I've been doing. Um, I'm just not going to use a lot of my time to sit there and edit forever. I'm just going to roll with it. And then um, then buddy Doug, um, he uh, just sent him a huge uh, box the other day, like FedEx. Um, Doug store off and his girl um, just did a unboxing video, four parts. Um, so it's pretty cool. You know, I've lost my uh, wow. <laughs> the page went behind that I'm viewing, so I can see that I'm talking and still videoing. But um, check them out. Um, they're doing. Doing real good. New, uh, new to the hobby, um, but uh, got a bunch more videos planned. 
um, tons of cool stuff that I have found, um, purchased, what have you. Um, but appreciate everybody, you know, hanging there with me. Y'all understood, you know, where I've been, what I've been doing. Still in the job hunt. Um, hoping here they're getting close to the spring. Um, I'll be able to hit some, get some bites on some stuff. Plus, as the grass starts growing, I can mow lawns and what have you. So, um, oh, no, I do another video. I got to do an update. We're having a show March 19th in East Ridge, Tennessee. I'm going to do another video here in just a minute and talk nothing but, but about the show. See you then.